Hello, heathens, and welcome to Draft Pick Ultimate Number 1, where I talk about albums that are sick, wicked, and well-deserving of your time and money. So let's get this sucker rolling with... Shrine Builder by... Well, Shrine Builder. Shrine Builder is a stoner wet dream. It's a super group composed of members of St. Vitus, Neurosis, Melvins, and previous frothy pint alumnus, Ohm. Sadly, the group has since disbanded due to some sort of animosity between Wino and Al Cisneros, whom Wino has described as insane. Which is, well, I can't exactly disagree, but still, this is a shitty deal because their work together was fucking biblical. In terms of both its scope and its execution, their eponymous album is grandiose and expansive. It's one of the most potent and varied stoner albums I've heard in a long time, and while it is a shame we likely won't get any more from them, we can at least enjoy what we have. Land of Old by Elder Tale. Immediately, with the explosive opener, Exile, the band has a kung fu grip on your nuts and they're gonna take you and your sack to hell and back, and it's gonna be a crazy fucking ride. Land of Old is probably one of the best folk metal releases of 2014, which is an impressive feat by itself, and much more so for a CD that only has three songs on it. But despite not being a full release and only clocking in at about 16 minutes, Elder Tale leaves a lasting impression. They are frequently compared favorably to Enziferum, having a similarly balls-to-the-wall and fantastical style of composing. However, Enziferum never really grabbed my attention quite like Elder Tale has. And as soon as these guys get a full album released and some live footage to their name, I'm gonna give them the full rundown on Frothy Pine of Metal because, hell fucking yes, they deserve it. Jornaya Pana by Litventrol. Litventrol called it quits back in April of this year, but you better believe their swan song is something legendary. Jornaya Pana, which translates to The Black Lady. And much like its namesake, this album is strong, independent, and don't need no man. Mm-hmm. It's an incredibly unique album. Imagine if Arcona just one day decided to become Mastodon, and it totally worked without a hitch. Imagine if Arcona made Blood Mountain. That, I feel, is the only accurate way to describe Lit Ventrol's sound. 
I mean, technically you could call them a progressive doom folk band with electronic sludge influences, but even then that label is so verbose that it's basically meaningless. And it also sounds like some dumb bullshit a hipster made up so he could fantasize and harden his tiny dick for his mutated horse bride. You know, as hipsters typically do, as far as I know. But really, the only way to understand Lit Troll is to listen to them. And even then, it'll be a challenge, but hey, at least you'll have a good time doing it. And so concludes the first episode of Draft Pick Ultimate. But if you feel that the pickings are a little slim for your liking this time around, don't worry. The DPU will evolve over time, growing bigger, stronger, and more varied in content. Hell, there's a good chance that in the future, I will cover far more than just music. Wink wink. Take it easy, everybody. Music